I'm going to tell you one of the most famous ball trick lies, and this is Frank Sawyer's pheasant tail nymph. Now, I'm using a copper wire here instead of tying thread. I'm going to build up a little thorax here. Now, this is around about a size 12 fly. So the wire. It's tang thread but also adds a little bit of weight. So this spare bit of wire here. Here, a bit of super glue. Now, what we do is we try and source pheasant tail that has quite long fibers for this. And just take six or seven of them and line up the tips as best we can. in a short teal. I saw her then wrap the pheasant tail like a dubbin rope. Around his uh, his wire. Now this does make for a little bit more bulk. Then wrap all to the front of the fly. Put a wrap across with our copper wire. Then a wrap in front of it. You can use your nails if you want just to force that back. And then we'll take an open turn or two to the rear of our thorax and use what was left of the pheasant tail here as a thorax cover. One wrap should hold it in place. And then we'll put on two or three turns of a whip finish with the wire. Cut that off nice and neat behind. Trim off our wire, and that is Sawyer's pheasant tail nymph tied. Uh, now, if you want to make that a little bit more secure, again, you can just touch your wraps with a varnish or with super glue. And if you really want it a bit more secure, just a little bit of super glue or varnish into that thorax cover. But there we have. One of the first names, I suppose, and no doubt one of the most famous of all trout lies, Frank Sawyer's pheasant tail nymph.